Hi everyone, this is Bridget of BZB Knits and today I'm going to show you how to do this technique that I'm going to term a whip stitch bind off seam in order to sew down this liner into the inside of a cowl. So this is just a little swatch that I knit. Um, I worked this flat just for the purpose of this tutorial, um, but for the cowl that is knit in the round. So this is mimicking the top edge of the cowl. And then um, from here, you just keep knitting in stockinette to create that Surrey liner. And now we're at the step where our liner is complete, the rest of the cowl is complete, and we're going to sew this down and also bind off the stitches at the same time. So you're going to need a tapestry needle, obviously your knitted piece, you can keep the stitches live on that needle and then I made sure to just cut a tail three times the width of my cowl or in this case it's just the length of the swatch. Um, so the first thing that you're going to do is we're going to tuck that liner to the inside of the cowl. So to do that, I'm just going to tuck this in. So basically this is the right side of the liner, the stockinette side, and then this is the uh, right side of the cowl. Um, so you can also think of this wrong sides moving together. So I'm just going to line up that edge. And now, um, so for this cowl, I suggest doing the German twisted cast on. And the reason is because it's really easy to see where you want to seam. Um, so to start off, we're going to slip your first stitch, live stitch knit wise off the needle like that. And now I'm going to look for that corresponding stitch on the cast on edge. So if you see here, these are these little bumps that you make in the German twisted cast on. And we're going to seam to the little bump to the right. So that's one we're going to seam. This is one that we're going to seam. This is also where we're going to seam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my tapestry needle into that part of the cast on edge. This is the inside of the German twisted cast on edge. So the wrong side of the cowl. And I'm just going to pull through. And then my first stitch is bound off and now that's attached. To the cowl. Same thing, we're going to insert knit wise with the tapestry needle into that first live stitch and then I'm going to slip it off the needle and then I'm going to go find the next part of um, the cast on edge that I want to seam in which is going to be right here and then I'm just going to pull through. So just make sure while you're doing this that you're not um, doing this too tightly. So you want to still maintain the stretch of the cast on edge so that that cowl can still um, go up and over your head. So I'm just going to keep doing that a few more times um, to show you um, the technique. So slip that stitch off knitwise. Going to go into that next bump here. And then slip over and just tug a little bit but not too loose again I'm maintaining that stretch another time I'm going to insert knit wise take that stitch off the needle go into my next bump here and then oh I accidentally caught some ends there the same thing just a whip stitch and binding off those stitches at the same time going to insert next stitch into that next bump pull insert insert pull oh, sorry sorry is very sticky and then I'll show that one more time insert knit wise insert here and then pull 
So I'm just gonna do the across my swatch and then I'll show you what that looks like at the end. Okay, so I have finished binding off and seaming down all of my stitches here. Um, so as you can see, all those stitches are secure and it's a really um, not bulky seam. And then it still maintains the stretch of that cast on edge. Um, and in my opinion, I think it's just a little bit easier than the Kitchener stitch. Um, and yeah, so that's my little tutorial. I hope you found this helpful. Um, you can find me on Ravelry and Payhip under BZB Knits Designs um, and also on Instagram as BZB Knits.